Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own ionic liquids. Ionic liquids are very important because it's the stuff you put in the in the middle of your battery to as a separator to give you the power you need to get your battery going. Now let me show you something before we get started uh, what exactly uh, this ionic liquid does and how you can use it and benefit from it. I got my voltage meter on this is my negative, and this piece of wire is a galvanized piece of wire, and this is my copper side with the positive side. Let me show you the voltage. You get a 0.73 volts steady, and if you had enough of these, you could probably create your own battery without never needing a charge ever again. But this is just a sample, and I'm still working on it, and it's a work in progress. But right now, I'm going to show you the mixture of how to create your very own ionic liquids. And with that being said, here we go. Let's start over here. We have glycerin. You'll need glycerin, pure glycerin from CVS. It's, um, when you use this, it, with your Epsom salt, salt substitute, it's very viscous. And it also, um, it's very good for it has no water in it so it's very good and you'll need urea uh, one tablespoon of urea oh and you'll need four tablespoons of pure glycerin two tablespoon of Norton's Epsom salt sodium free substitute very important I did two tablespoons of this and I got them separate uh, and I, you need uh, also Epsom salt from your CVS store and make sure it's a hundred percent heptahydrate a hundred percent heptahydrate it's very important for you as your ingredient okay and that and I use uh, one tablespoon of that let's move on borax you need one tablespoon of borax to stabilize your you know, it's just a stabilizer. It's like, it works like a stabilizer. And then also, I decided to try this navel jelly and uh, rust dissolver. But it also, um, the ingredients in there allows it uh, to keep the metals from corroding and, you know, keeps it all nice, working great. And then, uh, and then uh, five, four tablespoons of white distilled vinegar. That's all you need to create your ionic liquid. Now, let's begin with the ionic liquid process mixing. Okay, so you take your cup, you pour your uh, four tablespoons of glycerin into your cup. Okay. Next, you need to grind up your urea. It's This is uh, the stuff you use. It's kind of like the V8 that gives you gives it power, gives it a, the power it needs, uh, sort of like, you know, like on a V8 uh, in a car, on a Porsche or Audi, so you want to grind it up because you don't want to use it as a pellet. So you, I put it in the car and uh, just grind it up, okay, once you do that, you could also just take, just remove the top, move the bottom, the cover, mix it right in, mix it right in, it'll be mixed just fine. Uh, then you want to take something to stir it, a little stir stick, mix it up, it'll all dissolve and mix right in, It's and it's uh, it'll mix right in just fine. I uh, hope you can see this. It's uh, very good stuff. It'll all dissolve in the end when we're about finished uh, messing with it. And uh, then go ahead and mix your four tablespoons of uh, Epsom salt substitute. It's very important because that is, you need that in your battery. You know, it's. Then. Go ahead and pour your um, one tablespoon of Epsom salt. 
mix, mix it up. And just mix it up a little bit, give it a little stir, get it going. Okay, good. It's looking good. Then next, you want to pour in your one tablespoon of boric acid, uh, boric uh, into your mix. Throw that in. Yeah, normally most people stop at this point and work with this here and possibly even add a little more uh, glycerin to get it more viscousy. Uh, but I decided to try um, this navel jelly. The, um, people use them to make uh, to make to create their batteries with it. You know, so good stuff you just mix it in always remember to um, to when you're mixing these things to do it outside in an open environment you don't want to mix these things indoors you, know. you can these is, it's a very safe mixture but you know you always want to work outdoors if possible okay and last but not least is the four tablespoons of vinegar. Now you just give it a swirl and stir it in. Make sure it's all mixed in really, really good. Okay, last process is going to be warming, it, heating it up just a little bit in a safe. Uh, Pot that you can use to uh, warm it all up and dissolve the crystals, the crystals that are in the salt, Epsom salt and stuff. And all you do is just warm it up a little bit. It will probably dissolve on its own, but and then you just, as it gets warm, you just. You just stir it in, see, stir it in, stir, stir, uh, doesn't have to be extremely hot, but the heat, a little heat applied to it, makes it, uh, just makes it, uh, dissolve a lot nicely. You just, also, uh, Everything just mixes really nice. You could take it off the, the heat for a minute. Because, and then you could just put it back on and just keep doing that until you see it start to dissolve. And it's starting to get really nice there. Dissolve really good. Keep stirring, keep stirring. Remove it off the, the heater for a minute because you don't want it to stay on it very long. You just want it uh, warm to di help dissolve it a little is what you want. Just keep stirring until you get more of a viscousy. Still a little watery. See? You could actually now turn off the heat. 
and just let it sit for a minute and on the warm element of the and just let it sit and you you can you can add uh, like another tablespoon like another tablespoon total like five tablespoons of gl uh, glycerin that'll be that'll work fine and and even even uh, a little more Epsom salt just won't hurt it either that's it and then just stir it again as it sets it'll turn more viscousy you know where you know the heat all you want the heat to do is to remove any moisture that's in the in the Epsom salt uh, once you know just to remove the moisture help remove the moisture and also uh, mix in the contents pretty good That's all you do. And pretty much almost ready, but you, it's it's gonna need to settle out uh, because it's overheat. So once you once you um, the stuff gets dissolved, you just uh, you can take it off the heat and just let it sit for it to uh, begin to get viscous, more viscousy for your what you're trying to do with uh, create your battery ionic liquid okay so now you just let it sit it's uh, and you could use that to create to create um, the ionic liquid that I just created there and by the way the stuff that I put in there to make it more uh, gel-like. Uh, believe it or not, I put um, Metamucil, a little bit of it, and it. What happens is the Metamucil will gel up, and you could use it to spread just like you would like jelly on a sandwich. That's what. That's exactly what it is. It stays kind of. Um, it feels like it stays moist to touch, but you know, and see the current. 0.73 so there you go it's doing that all by itself it's producing that all by itself but it hasn't um, I had this going on for like about two weeks and it's still producing power all by itself so there you go it does work okay okay youtubers I hope that was helpful and if you know you like it give me thumbs up okay uh, See you later and have a great day.